<clears throat> with regards to Gordon Ryan's transformation, he's, uh, he's always been a tall but lanky person. And uh, that height, I've always felt, was one of his biggest advantages. In his weight division, he was always the tall guy. And that meant that he had a tremendous propensity to go into things like body triangles, um, uh, Senkaku or triangle attacks from, from bottom position, etc., etc. But now I believe he will be more or less average height. He's in a heavier weight division, so I think everyone's pretty much his height. So he, the first thing you'll see him lose is his height advantage. So that's one interesting aspect to the physical transformation. He's gained in physical strength. Um, of course, he's around 21. He just, I think, he just turned 22. So um, he's in that 21, 22 year old where you're just starting to go from teenage strength to mature adult male strength. So um, that's pleasing. But on the other hand, that's also problematic too. When you start getting increases in strength, you start using strength more. And when you use strength more, you get tired. And ADCC is a lot of the, the, the difference in winning and losing is managing strength output. It's, you often have to go into overtime. A huge number of the matches go into overtime. And often it's more than one overtime. And then you've got to fight again. And then the next day, it's a two day event. So managing strength output is, it's a big part of success. So um, that may be something that he has to, uh, he's struggling with it even in camp. Like, you know, how, you, how much strength do you want to apply when you know you may have to go into an overtime and then you've got to fight three more times in the next 48 hours. Um, so these are things that he's working out as he goes through the camp and it's an interesting part of his development. Do you feel that it, it'll be a, an advantage in the long run? I th I, I've always believed that strength is an, ad an advantage. I know in Jiu-Jitsu we're supposed to say that strength doesn't matter. Well, it does. <laughs> there's a reason why there's weight divisions and there's a division between the men's division and the women's division. Okay? Um, no matter how you cut it, physical attributes do matter. Um, I do believe that when two athletes are of matched skill level, the stronger man will generally win. Um, so uh, you should never be embarrassed of being strong, yeah, even though Jiu-Jitsu has this traditional thing where it tends to denigrate strength. Um, strength is a wonderful attribute. Speed is a wonderful attribute. All these things are good things to have. You don't want to rely on them. You don't want to base your entire game upon them. But if you have them, don't be embarrassed by them. They're, they're a good thing to have.